Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about an AP statistics problem on minimum sample size. But before I get started, I want to mention that this uh, channel is all for you. In my channel, you can do math. I have solved all kinds of stat problems just for you. Okay, so you can sub please subscribe to my channel and then you'll have access, free access to all the stats problem that I have solved to for you. So why are you hesitating? Please subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And we will get started. An ambitious farmer has set out to maximize the size of the eggs led by his chickens. After careful thought, he has decided to experiment with a new type of feed. Based on data acquired from a feed manufacturer, he learned that the standard deviation of the eggs led by the chickens that consume the new feed is 7.5 gram. Of the following, which is the fewest number of eggs that should be sampled to obtain an estimate within 0.5 gram of the true mean of egg weights. And at the farmer's insistence at a confidence of 95%. Okay. So there are five options. So we will use the minimum sample size formula, which is N equal to in parenthesis Z alpha by two multiplied by sigma divided by E the whole thing in parenthesis is squared. What is Z alpha by two? It is the critical value of Z for one minus alpha level of confidence. What is sigma? It is the population standard deviation. It is Greek small s. And capital E is the margin of error. For confidence level one minus alpha of 95%. So one minus alpha is 0 0.95, alpha is 0 0.05, and alpha by two is 0 0.025. And Z critical value 0 0.025 is 1.96. We are given sigma is 7.5 and E margin of error is 0.5. Hence N is equal to in parenthesis 1.96 which is the Z alpha by two times 7.5, which is a standard deviation divided by margin of error, which is 0.5. And the whole thing is squared. So the answer is 865 because we always round up the minimum sample size to the next whole number. So the correct answer choice is E. I will stop here today. If you have any question, shoot me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. I'll come back next time with another AP statistics problem on uh, confidence interval for population proportion. So see you next time. Take care. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.